Vince Diaz. I'm Barry Bailey, and I'm just here to share with you a little bit about survival in emergencies. I'm cleaning some herbs here that I've gathered this fall, dried them out in my living room, and uh, I gather quite a few varieties of herbs that I can use through the winter for sickness, for sustenance, for health, for survival. And uh, there's lots of different herbs that you can pick wild, like goldenrod, wild carrots, all kinds of mints, mountain mint, Oswego tea, many varieties of herbs you can gather free uh, in the woods, along roadsides of old roads that are not traveled much. And if you live in the city, I was told, and I think this is great advice, the best thing you can have for survival is a good pair of walking shoes, a backpack, don't have to be expensive, it could be a duffel bag with arm, the places for your arms, duffel, old, uh, army duffel bags, they're pretty cheap, you can buy them at the surplus store. And if you have a family, you might want to get two or three of them. And a good pair of walking shoes, something you can carry on your back, a uh, container for water, and a small bottle of Clorox. Now Clorox can be used to purify water if you have to get it out of streams and stuff. If you're walking out of the city, you can uh, use a teaspoon, Clorox and a gallon of water, shake it up and let it set for 10 minutes and you can drink it. It pretty well purifies the water like in a swimming pool. <clears throat> and I wouldn't say, suggest this for everyday use, but for emergency purposes, it works excellente. Um, so put that in your backpack and have dry goods, uh, freeze dried goods, and they don't have to be the expensive varieties. You can buy ramen noodles. Excellent survival foods to get you through several days, several weeks of uh, extreme times. And it's times of extreme emergencies where there's mass exodus from cities. You want to be able to walk out of the city. Uh, driving out is virtually impossible if something happens on a, ma on a massive scale. A good pair of walking shoes, something to carry on your back. If you got kids, something to carry on your back. Little things they can carry on their backs. Good shoes, walking stick maybe. A uh, little bottle of Clorox to purify your water. Dry perishable or unperishable dry goods like uh, pastas, uh, light, light things that you can put in your backpack to eat. Uh, are excellent for survival because you don't want to weigh yourself down that you want to walk out of the city. If you're a fireman or a policeman and you have to stay in the city, then I suggest that you have a little survival place, a little survival kit to sustain you for a couple of weeks that you can walk back to while you're in the city. Uh, your little survival enclave in your apartment or wherever, to have a place that you can retreat to, to sustain yourself until you can walk out of the city, or whatever you have to do, to have a place uh, of survival with food, water, and, uh, and shelter, and the things that you need in order to sustain yourself while helping others. Uh, this is just a little short survival talk excellente that has been passed on to me and I'd like to go over again. Uh, gather herbs, dry herbs, dry, <clears throat> dry foods, a uh, little bottle of Clorox to put in your duffel bag or your backpack, good pair of shoes, good pair of shoes, and be able to carry some light things and a water container uh, that you can fill 
on your way out uh, and uh, purify because water would probably be a problem if something on a big scale happened. But there is a way to survive without panicking. You might want to get a head, little head uh, flashlight. They work excellent at night. In emergencies, a few of those little AAA batteries, they don't weigh much. But the headlamp allows you to help others while you can see at night, and it works good. So I uh, just wanted to throw that out there, you know. Uh, regular Clorox works well to purify water. You just pour some in a little container and it only takes a teaspoon to purify a gallon of water. And put that in your duffel bag or your backpack with your good pair of shoes there and your uh, exit plan uh, to get out of those big cities. And remember, you're going to have to walk out. You're not going to be able to drive. Uh, a few who might get a a head notice, but usually that don't happen. If they do, they might be able to drive out ahead of the uh, chaos. But usually, uh, it all happens at once. So be able to just to be calm, get your backpack together, your kids together. If you don't have kids, maybe help someone who it does have kids to be able to walk out. You know, have your blankets, your light blankets, your uh, plastic bag to, if in case it's raining. Uh, maybe an umbrella in your, you know, just things to protect you from the elements when you're walking out of the city. Uh, and think about that. This is Survival Talk Excellente, and it's been passed on to me. I'm just passing it on to you. Prepare yourself, but you don't have to, like, have a, put back a, a whole room full of survival gear, because you're going to be having to walk out of the cities, and you're going to have to be able to uh, do it in a way that you can sustain yourself to walk 40, 50 miles until you get out into an open places where you can get help and uh, live off of the wild or whatever you have to do to uh, survive. But getting out of the cities uh, is not a really big problem if you've got a good pair of walking shoes and uh, a little survival pack. But think about being able to purify your water with that Clorox and that good pair of shoes, that headlight, and being able to help other kids so you can be freed up. You carry your stuff on your back, you have a headlight, you know, you can help others on the way. And uh, have the warm blanket uh, in your backpack, have the plastic bags, keep things dry. and. Uh, can pretty much make it. You might even want to take a tarp, you know, a small tarp big enough to make a small tent or a lean-to or something, or a small tent for the kids. Uh, but there's a way to do this where you can uh, have a plan, and having a plan is the most important thing during a time of uh, a mass event, a time of chaos. And uh, just again, I just want to throw that out there for you, and uh, maybe you won't have to do that, but be prepared. And uh, it don't take a lot to be prepared. Very simple. Uh, so uh, I hope you got something out of that, and uh, have a great day.